I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Oh, Hello. You know, pr probably not. But. Hi. Hello, my name is Rapid, and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. This is part two of episode one. Hopefully, enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's begin. I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I. I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That, that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys, a lot of those guys, it's over now. We made it. I mean, his brains just, just like, like snot. Yes. Okay, that was awful. I agree, but we got through it, you know, and that probably shouldn't have happened. At least now we know we can handle ourselves. If what? If brains ooze out of people's noses? Well, yeah, basically. I guess you sort of have a point somewhere in there. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Ooh, this looks creepy, man. Look at that. Get the hell so out of creepy. here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, man. Right, oh my gosh. What is, what is this man? Like, find August. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Let's go around. Okay. We can keep on going. What is this? Oh my gosh, that looks painful man. Let's look. Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. Let's go then. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Okay, let's go. Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it! Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Let's yeah, see. I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Yeah, right, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Yep, definitely. So when cute, uh, when the Museum of Curiosity, I guess. Oh no, what happened here? What? Hi! <laughs> How are you? Not great! Are you two not just the 
handsomest devils I've seen in ages. <laughs> what? What? Who are you? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the like some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show. So thanks. I I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. That doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. We're looking for a man named August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure, sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. Hey, it's Ben. Yes, come. On. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> He was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? <sighs> Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down, and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's... eh. I mean, don't get me wrong, for a vault key, it's fine, but... You gotta remember, we're from Hyperion, okay, so... Sure. Okay. Okay, so, the way I, uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all... Oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. I... 
You're making a big mistake. This money we're offering is life-changing, and it's right here. I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we're not like those assholes. In fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird... August, Bubby, come on now, a deal's a deal. We didn't come all the way down here, just no, to... I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No, nah, I made up my mind. August, wait! Freeze! This is your department! Do something! August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! What a steaming load of skag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! That sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> oh, all right, all right! <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could've. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last- <laughs> Okay, I get it. <clears throat> this fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. The vault key shattered. It's mine! To give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that 
the most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here. Alright, I'm gonna stop this video here. Thanks so much for watching part 2 of Tales from the Borderlands episode 1. I'll be doing part 3 with the same. So, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video of I ever make.